Good morning, church. It is Saturday, April 18th. I'm guessing most of you have gotten all the snow shoveled. In April is an interesting time, is it not? Our scripture this morning is from John 20, 19 to 23. When it was evening, the day, first day of the week, and the doors of the house where the disciples had met were locked for fear of the Jews. Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. And after he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. And then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. And Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. And if you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. So what does it mean to practice resurrection? Among the stories about the first encounters the disciples have with their risen Lord, John remembers Jesus' first words to his troubled and fearful disciples as being about not what has happened to him, but rather what he hopes might happen among them. Peace be with you, Jesus says. Only then does he show them the signs of his suffering and death, the wounds in his hands and his side. As with the most important lessons that we have to learn in life, learning peace takes time and practice. And so Jesus repeats these words as if to make it clear that his resurrection is to be grasped in their own lives, not simply as some remote testimony about his. Peace be with you. He follows with what might, we might read as an action plan, as if to clarify what it might mean to find this peace. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. We know this statement to be true in the grit and the grime of our own lives. If we hold on to grudges, even if deserved because of some injury inflicted upon us, they will remain a weight, not only for those others, but for ourselves. But if we forgive others, practicing resurrection at the places of what suffering they might have visited upon us, they will be forgiven. How will we find our way into the deep mystery of the resurrection? By risking forgiveness towards others above all, and above all those who do not seem to deserve it. This brings the promise of peace for them, of course, but also for us. O oh, forgiving God, let me dare today to forgive others and to offer them the peace that you offer me each moment of my life. Amen. Breathe on me, breath of God. Fill me with life anew, that I may love what thou dost love, and do what thou wouldst do. Breathe on me, breath of God, till I am wholly thine, till all this earthly part of me glows with thy fire divine. Have a blessed Saturday. Be well.